Off we go, here we are, we're going on our journey. Kendra, don't forget you can zoom, yeah? So here we are, we're heading on off to Centenary Park, we're heading off towards um, the station's offices to drop off a flash drive. Um, so we're using the motorbikes today because it gives Kendra an opportunity to learn uh, how to, or to practice, keeping the camera as stable as possible when you're moving without a gimbal, without the additional extras, just handheld. Um, so let's see how that goes. This is my safe border rider, uh, driver, and that is John there. Let's see how this journey goes. So we're just heading through an area called Namuongo and um, they've got a market there. You've got street talkers that sell sort of pineapples and, and mangoes, whatever fruits are in season. You should be able to see Kendra behind me. We go, we go. So it's pretty hot today. Um, the last time that I went on a Buddha during this exact journey, I got sunburned. So hopefully you don't realize how hot it is when you're sat on the Buddha in the sunshine. But let me just show you what Namongo area looks like. We've got Friends Medical Center. Dr. Ben there, good doctor. Usually when you're on a Buddha Buddha in Uganda, one technique to keep yourself stable is to put your hand at the back and hold the back of the, the seat. You've got an area for your feet to rest on. Now we're going into the heart of Namuongo. So this is the heart of Namuongo where the market is. And you've got lots of things there. Kampala is made up of seven hills, I'm told. You can see one of the hills over there. And that's Namuongo market in there also. You've got the local taxis that park up and shout for the location that uh, people want to go to. When we get closer to the city centre, there's a lot of beeping. So here we go, shops in Namongo. So we've just gone past Namongo Market and the heart of Namongo. And um, this is just to give you a, a feel of what Namongo feels like and, and what you can get in here. So you've got hardware stores, sh fashion shops, hair salons, spas.
We're now heading to industrial area and this is where you can find all the different uh, industries. So uh, hardware, lighting, plastics, different things there. As I was saying, in Namuongo you can find fruit, fruit hawkers on the side of the road over there. You can see the hawkers who sell mangoes and different things on the side of the road. It's usually nice buying it from them. You can usually get a good deal. Restaurants. Shoe shop. So the border border, the border border is one means of community of transportation in Kampala and outside of Kampala. And it's a fast way to get around, but there is a risk um, with the safety because it's weaving in and out of cars and buses and things like that so they don't have a um, regular to go around Kampala within Kampala they don't have a train system so you would either have your own vehicle you could take a taxi which are the small call them matatus small mini buses for public transport and you can walk, of course, or take a bicycle. But a Boda Boda is a fast way to get to your location, especially if there's traffic jam. Okay, so now we're gonna cross a railway bridge, which isn't functioning. Not a bridge, sorry, a railway track. And all the way down, it takes you. You can follow the track all the way down. But this is life on go down road so this is go down road and it leads us to industrial area where we will be able to uh, connect to get into town usually at certain times there's a lot of traffic on this road um, so the traffic on this road here is quite severe but um, if you know the right times to come then you can choose when to move so now we're in industrial area now we're in industrial area and we will be going through to different streets. So they've listed industrial area like 1st Street, 2nd Street, 3rd Street. This is 5th Street we're going up now. this is giving you a taste of what Uganda is like, what Kampala is like. We're coming in from the suburbs to the city centre. And this, these are the benefits of using a Boda Boda. This is the benefit of using a Boda Boda rather than a bus or your own transport. If you go up Mulwana Road, that leads you up to Bugolobi. As you can see, there's lots of industries here, which is why it's called industrial area. We can go together, we can go faster.
have Bata, uh, which is an international brand that makes shoes. They have Bata in Spain as well. I know I've seen them there. back to using a boda boda is that the dust gets in your face on your skin in your eyes especially when like now you've got a truck in front of you that's pulling up the dust now this road is tarmac but still we've got the dust there the police are doing their checks So this is Spring Road now. We're on Spring Road and this is going to take us down towards the city centre. So, um, and it also leads in the other direction to Mutungu. Uh, you can connect as well to Ginger Road that way and Kirika. get in Uganda a lot of these nurseries that sell plants on the side of the street and they you can just stop and buy the different plants available there so there are lots of those nurseries that you'll just keep on seeing on the side of the road There you go, there's another nursery there where they sell plants. Crossing a rail track. That leads you to Ginger Road as well. But it seems like we're going straight on. And there they're making beds and different furniture. And again, pots for the nurseries and mango sellers. Okay, so on our right is Third Street. The numbers just keep on going down. So we're on Fifth Street, this is Third Street. Here we have Third Street on our right, and we just keep on going up on Spring Road.
see a lot of industry, nice plastic. Petrol station. So unleaded premium is 4,250 Ugandan shillings and diesel is 3,950 today. So we're getting closer to the central business district. We can see the skyscrapers ahead of us. And um, that's closer to town, but we're not going in that direction. We're going to turn right when we get to the road. Different prices for fuel here. So 4380 for premium and diesel 4099. That's with total. Total. Crikey, lots of queues here for Ministry of Internal Affairs. Okay, there we can see. Which tower is this? Is that that's not the clock tower, is it? Which one is this? This is no, this is now called the Port Bell Road Tower. Port Bell Road Tower. Yeah, Old Ginger Road. Old Ginger Road. Okay. So now we're heading onto a busy roundaway, roundabout, sorry. And we've got this clock here that has been sponsored or has Airtel markings on it. We're just going across the road, we just need to navigate. So we need to be careful in these areas because when there's slow traffic, thieves are quite um, fond of snatching different things, so we need to be careful. But here we are, we go straight ahead, it leads us to the city centre. But we're just going across the road. There we go. That leads you right to the city centre. We're going to arrive safely at our location. So the safe road I lived up to its name. Thank you, John. Thank you. And there's Kendra right behind us. <laughs> 